Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how you can change the address formats of your organization and customers and also add additional fields in Zoho Invoice to suit your business requirements and comply with the regulations. Let's see how to change the address format of your organization. Log into your Zoho Invoice account. Click the gear icon at the top right corner and select Preferences. Go to the General tab under Preferences and scroll down. You will find the existing address format of your organization. All the fields of your address are put in this format. For example, this denotes your current city, this your current state and so on. Each one of these is called a placeholder. They represent different parts of the address you enter. You can either choose to add more placeholders by clicking Insert Placeholders drop-down or choose to manually rearrange the existing format. Kindly note that apart from inserting placeholders, you can also enter additional information as default texts. Once you customize the address format, click Save to confirm the action. You have successfully updated your organization's address format. Next, let's see how to change the address format of your customers. Click the gear icon at the top right corner and select Preferences. Go to the Customers tab under Preferences. Here you can edit the customer's billing and shipping address like how we did earlier. Once you make the necessary changes, click Save. Kindly note that all the details entered will be displayed in the PDF format in respective places. Let's see how to add custom fields for customers. Apart from the default fields, you can also create and add custom fields to your customer's address if you wish. Go to the Customers tab in Preferences and select Field Customization. Click Plus New Customer Field to create a new field. Fill in the required details. Now go to the Customer Shipping or Billing Address format and select Appropriate Placeholder from the drop-down. You can rearrange the field as per your requirement. Then click Save to confirm the action. The newly created field has been successfully added to the Customer Shipping and Billing Address format. Kindly note that you can also add additional fields to your organization's address format by following the same steps. Now, let's take a look at how the changes made in the organization address format are reflected in the invoice document. That's it for now folks. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zohoinvoice.com. If you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us. Thank you.